yo You know I'm alive what is going on you guys? It's your boy Ferg here back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video and in today's video we have the most highly requested content here on my channel. We're going to be discussing my personal top 5 assault rifles inside of Call of Duty Mobile. I will be basing them off how versatile they are and how effective they are in their prime setting. So for example if we look at SMGs you would see the best effectiveness for an SMG would be right up close. So that would be the effective prime will rate them out of 10 and then versatility is how diverse their attributes are so for example their range their fire rate their damage per shot all of that stuff and then I will give them a score out of 10 for versatility as well some people may be surprised by this list and my opinions on this list and if you are in any way surprised by anything that I have to say in this video leave a comment down below and I'll probably end up replying to some people in the comment section if they disagree and then I'll tell them why I think probably further in depth why I think the gun deserves to be on the list over something else. So without any further ado, sit back, relax, and let's get into this. So coming in at that number five spot, this is probably going to be a gun that surprises a lot of people on this list. But the reason why this gun is actually on this list is because of how effective it is in its prime use. So the number five spot is the M16. Yep, I know. I never thought I would put this on a number five spot for season three, but then I got to using it more in ranked and I realized that this gun, although it's not as versatile as maybe some of the other guns on this list, the effectiveness in its prime place is really, really good. Good. So let me talk a little bit about how effective it can be. It's especially effective in the in between short and medium ranges, but in that short to medium range, it can one burst opponents. Now you guys may not realize how valuable of an asset being able to one burst your opponents with a burst rifle actually is, because if you only take the burst and not the time in between bursts that this gun fires, it's actually the fastest killing assault rifle inside of the game. Another YouTuber called Hawksnest made a whole video talking about how fast this gun can actually kill it's pretty incredible and I obviously made a video I would say about a month or so ago talking about how good the m16 can actually be if you use it correctly and in my personal opinion I would see the m16 in its effective prime use which means the place where it performs the best I would give it a solid 8 out of 10 I mean it is really effective in that short to medium range going to the long range is where it really drops off and that's why for versatility ratings I would only rate it about a 6 I mean, long range, even with the grip, it's going to be very hard to actually use just because of how bouncy the burst actually is. So going in to the number four spot, we have none other than the versatility king, the BK-57. I mean, you guys knew that this gun was going to be on this list. It's actually been on a lot of lists that I have had in the past, both best guns in the game and best assault rifles in the game. However, it is number four because there is other guns that are similar to it on the list that are better than the BK. But like I said, it is the versatility king and I would give it an eight for versatility because it's good close range and it's very, very good long range. However, it won't beat out your MSMC or your AKS close range. Unfortunately, it is an assault rifle. What do you really expect? But long range, medium range, close range, you can use it basically anywhere because of the recoil pattern that it has and also the damage per second that it produces. I don't use this gun as much anymore. Just like I said, there's better guns in the category, but it's still a great gun for beginners. I'm not sure how early on you get it, but I mean, there's skins in the shop where you can purchase it for free credits. I mean, if you want to give it a shot, I would definitely advise you to do so. So coming in at our first honorable mention, I had to mention this gun. Unfortunately, it's not on the list today. It is, of course, the ICR. Now, this is not making it into the top five weapons because the damage per second of this gun is a little bit lackluster to be put into the top five. However, it is really good at its prime, which is long range. I mean, this gun is an absolute beam. It literally shreds people across the map because of its very, very low recoil. Unfortunately, the versatility is quite lackluster again. The ICR is not really versatile because up close it's gonna get dominated by the majority of weapons in the game like literally the majority of the weapons in this game is gonna beat this gun hands down probably nine out of ten times any smg any shotgun even the snipers will beat it close range it's not a good gun close range but in its prime i would say it's a solid eight out of ten as well versatility i would say it's probably like a three 
Either way, going into that number three spot, this is going to surprise a lot of people because this is actually lower than some people probably think that this gun should be at. It is none other than the AK-117. Yep, that's right. The AK-117 is number three. Now, hold your horses. This gun is still absolutely incredible. It is hands down one of the best rifles in the game. No joke. It is absolutely incredible. It's a great, great rifle. It's a perfect choice if you're trying to learn the ropes of the game, if you're new to the game. Even if you're an advanced player going on to that pro stage, this will still be a great gun. Unfortunately, it just gets outclassed by these other rifles in the top two. It really does. However, the AK-117 is very versatile. I would give it a 9 out of 10 for versatility. It is absolutely incredible. Close range, long range, medium range, wherever you want to use it, it is amazing. However, in its prime, the AK-117, it only really reaches, you know what, I'm going to give it an 8. It's definitely an 8 for effectiveness in its prime, but the problem with defining an effectiveness of its prime for this particular gun is that this gun is very versatile and picking a prime to actually get from this gun is difficult because it's very good medium range and it's very good long range and picking which area would be its prime is, it's a hard choice. However, it does get outclassed by some rifles in the close range, which is why it's number three on this list, but it is still a great gun. Eight for effective innocent prime and I would say nine for versatility. So coming in at our second honorable mention spot, which is outside the top five list, but still it is good enough to give it an honorable mention. It is the LK24. This gun is very average. It's just an average gun. There's not much more you can say about it. It's great for everything. However, it does get outclassed by other assault rifles in basically every single category. But if you're looking for something that is an all round decent weapon, this is probably your go-to. I mean, it's similar to the BK57. It's just worse than the BK57, which is interesting. However, effectiveness in its prime, I wouldn't even be able to give this gun a prime. I would give it a 7 for effectiveness and prime. Versatility, I would also give it a 7. It's decent. If you want to try it out, maybe give yourself a little bit of a harder time than you would give yourself if you were using some of the other guns like an AK-117 or a BK-57, then go for it. It's fun to use. I must admit it is fun to use, but it's just not in the top 5. Still worthy of an honorable mention though. Now, coming into that number two spot, this is the highest this gun has ever got on any one of my lists. It is the AK-47. Let me tell you, you put a grip on this thing, combined with the reduced recoil that it just received in season three, I think we're looking at a dark horse. I don't think people have caught on to how good this gun actually is. It is incredible. The damage per shot makes it great for close range. The reduced recoil makes it absolutely dominant in the long range setting and I mean you combine them both it's a great medium range gun all you need to learn how to do is to burst fire long range and this thing absolutely shreds I mean put a grip on it put a red dot on it you slap on that grip for the close range encounters where you need to aim down the sight fast you put the extended mag on it to increase the magazine capacity in case five people are running at you at the same time bang 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 you're gonna kill them all dude it's literally the highest damage assault rifle in the game along with the reduced recoil and the green great versatility. It's just unbelievable. Now, what's tough to do with the AK-47 is pick an effectiveness of prime place because it's so good close range, so good medium range, and so good long range that picking an effectiveness of prime would also be picking its versatility because it's highly versatile now with the reduced recoil. So for that reason, I'm giving it a double nine. Effectiveness in prime is a nine and also its versatility is a nine. I love this gun. I am very very, very enthusiastic about this gun. I think it is definitely deserving of that number two spot. However, I know the AK-117, people are going to be annoyed in the comment section about how low that gun is ranked. But all of these top three guns, I said it last season, the top three, well, last season it was the top two. This season, the top three assault rifles are all basically neck and neck. Like, it's literally nuts. They are super, super good. This gun has never been in a better spot in terms of how balanced the weapons are inside of this game. Like, remember, these guns are incredibly balanced. It's really hard to pick between each gun. 
However, the number one spot, it's still the king, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Type 25. Both the Type 25 and the AK-117 received a nerf in the Season 3 update, but in my opinion, they are just as good as they ever were. I mean, they received a recoil nerf, which means that the recoil is harder to control, but I mean, it's really not that hard to control the recoil of the Type 25, especially if you have a grip in it. So for the effectiveness of the prime of the Type 25, I would have to give a 10. Like, that close to medium range type 25 there is no other assault rifle that can beat that unless you manage to one burst get a lucky full burst in with the m16 there is no assault rifle in this game that is gonna beat the type 25 close range it's just not gonna happen this thing competes with the likes of the msmc and the aks this thing is nuts i would actually go as far as saying it's probably better than the aks close range like it's literally that crazy medium range stellar unbelievably good medium range long range that's where you're gonna see this gun kind Kind of drop off but in the likelihood that you're shooting at somebody across the map why are you taking those gunfights why are you trying to shoot across the map with this thing however versatility i'm still gonna give it a nine because the only time when this gun is bad in this game is when you're literally in sniper range and you're trying to take out somebody hard scoping you across the map with an arctic 50 a dlq 33 or even a locust that is the only time where this gun is going to be bad and i'm sorry but that's your fault that's your fault for taking that gunfight and losing it but this is a 10 and a 9 out of 10 for for versatility and effectiveness in the prime. It's unbelievable. That does conclude the top five assault rifles in season three. Type 25 number one, AK-47 number two, AK-117 number three, BK-57 number four, and the M16 number five. Now, I hope I don't get roasted too hard in the comment section for this, because I know people have their own opinions, but personally, for me, this is the top five guns for the assault rifle category in the game right now. If you guys did go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you think of this list subscribe if you guys are new turn on notifications if you want to be notified of when i upload a video and make sure to comment below on why you want the battle pass in season three because i am picking around 30 people to give the battle pass to in the next coming weeks with that being said i love you all and without further ado let's roll the outro bye